and welcome back to Pig Row. Today we're in the greenhouse and we're going to tidy it up because it's a complete and total mess. Uh, it happens over winter, it becomes a dumping ground for all your pots, all your plants and there's a problem with our greenhouse being this far away from the house. Uh, we can't always get up to it every day, especially when we have a really bad winter and it snows and you know how bad it snows up here. Uh, and sometimes we do have a few casualties. Now we could have put the greenhouse down the hill, but the problem is um, it's called a slope. And when you put a greenhouse on a slope, it will naturally, even if you put a retaining wall in, slowly go down the hill. And it would have cost a lot of money to build a retaining wall strong enough to hold our greenhouse. So we had to move it halfway up the garden where it was more flat. Uh, save ourselves quite a lot of money in the process of doing it. But the downside is when it's cold we sometimes can't get to it because the snow is too deep and we will have to dig it out. And also by digging it out we take away the insulation that's around the outside and also that means the So we're going to have a look around the greenhouse and look at all the casualties. Uh, and there are a few casualties, plants do die over winter and sometimes the plants that you're not particularly enamoured of or care about uh, that happens with some plants, you grow them, you think, uh, you're a bit too fussy, bye bye um, so what we're going to do, we're going to look around the greenhouse, look at the casualties and then we're going to clean the greenhouse because you need to clean your greenhouse and people who don't clean their greenhouses, why don't you clean your greenhouses? there's a reason for cleaning greenhouses and it's very simple it's called bugs and bacteria and nasty little things that'll get into your plants and kill them when they're little itty bitty seedlings. And also by cleaning the greenhouse, you clean the glass. And if the glass is clean and clear, you'll get more sunlight. More sunlight equals better plants. Let's have a look around and, the uh, Lies in regal state. Dead carnations. I don't know why we were growing carnations. Someone gave us some. We decided to try and grow them on. They're a fussy plant in our in our books. And also, um, neither Carol or I like them. So why did we have them in the house? Or even in the garden? Over here though, we have a sorry looking bay. But we can recover with that. And behind it we have a lovely pelagodium which is scented. Then over there we've got pots to clean. Staging to put up which is our temporary staging which goes on the bed over here. Uh, until we go and plant up this bed. Which by the way look at it. Oh look at it. Oh, da, 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 da. Can we see this? Can we see it's a bit dusty and dry. It needs some compost dead in later on in the season. Before we plant our tomatoes into it because I wouldn't want to live in that. And then around here we've got a grape growing. Down here some lupins. One alive, one dead, one alive. So we're not too bad, but we've got to clear all this off. Get all these pots stored away in a nice place under the, under the staging. And then we've got to clean all this glass. But before we do that, I want to show you something. Let's go outside, come on. A nice interesting project for us for later in the season. We have this. Can you see it? It's a cold frame. Minus its glass. And later in the season, probably in the next few weeks actually, we're gonna bring it back to life. So we can use it. It's a good sized cold frame. It's a shame to see it go to the tip. We got it from our neighbours. Our neighbours didn't want it. We stored it away in the garden, forgot about it and we found it. So we're going to use it. So let's go and clear the greenhouse. So if you notice over here, it's our stage with our slats on. But they're always on loose, so I can do this. I can take them all off and get in between. So we get in between now. You'll see down here, you can see all that moss. See all that's to come out. You can't leave it in because it makes more moss. If you want to, you can use a, a chopstick to do this because it will scrape it out and it'll get it all out. But even from the outside, you can see grass sometimes goes through, and this year we're going to solve that problem hopefully. 
we're gonna go around the outside of the greenhouse um, with concrete just not that much I would say about eight inches all the way around also it acts another reason for it is to firm up the base a little bit because we're on can you see this we're on this kind of base 